We're taking a look up in Grand Forks where things are calm. We have clear skies and no breeze and even a little guest star from Venus there on the screen. Now, temperatures here in Fargo still relatively warm, sitting at 38 degrees, and we have those clear skies here as well. Not much of a breeze, three miles an hour out of the south southeast, which makes it feel like it's 38, so no wind chill. And across the river in Moorhead, it's 37 there. Temperatures across the area still pretty warm. Much of our Minnesota location sitting in the 40s still. Out west, it's quite a bit cooler because they have those clear skies and clouds during the peak heating time of the day. So they didn't qu get quite as warm now. They're sitting right around 30 degrees out there. Now, temp uh, a look at the satellite and radar shows those passing clouds moving through the area. And we're actually going to be dealing with those as we continue through the remainder of the night. Now, temperatures will remain fairly warm and we're going to have a chance for some sprinkles here and there, primarily for folks down in the south. Now, these are just enough to dampen that sidewalk. Not a lot in the way of a uh, precipitation there. Now as we move through toward morning, those clouds will continue pushing their way east. We could see some sprinkles well south of our location and we're going to be dealing with those clouds moving east, which means we're going to see some clear skies for folks out west. As a result of those clear skies, things will be just a little bit chillier out there than they are in the east. Those clouds help things stay just a little bit warmer as we move overnight. Now as we move towards lunch on your Easter Sunday, we're going to see those clouds return for folks in the west. Well, we're going to see those clear skies in the east and a chance for some light precipitation in the rain form for folks in lakes country and points south and east of there. We'll just be on that northern edge of that. Now as we move through the afternoon and into the evening, we're going to continue holding on to those clouds with temperatures right around 40 degrees fairly warmer for folks in the east where they're going to see temperatures hit up into the 50s once more and again just a little bit cooler out to the west and we're going to continue with that chance of sporadic sprinkles pretty much wherever you see those clouds. Now tomorrow morning we're going to wake up temperatures right around 30 degrees a little cooler out west a little warmer in the east and by the afternoon a nice warm up most of the area sitting around 40 degrees. Now here in Fargo tomorrow we're going to start the day temperature 28 and work our way up slowly with some breaks in those clouds getting up to 42 degrees all in all a pretty nice Easter Sunday. Now the next week things are remaining fairly calm not much in the way of precipitation. We have some showers at the end of this week. They're looking pretty light but we'll keep our eye on it. We don't need any more additional precipitation adding to our flood worries and those temperatures. Look at that remaining in the upper 40s and that means we're going to see some pretty significant melting. We have a chance to hit some 50s but with all of the snow that's on the ground that'll help things stay just a little bit cooler. So we're going to keep our eye on that as well. That is not going to spell any good news for that flooding situation either. I have my fingers crossed for a 50. Me too. Yeah. It would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice. It would be, It'd be, be fantastic. Nice. Thank you Jim. Still to come on Valley News Live discussions regarding the banning of a